Yo, what's up? I want to talk about WWE SummerSlam 2021 and also NXT TakeOver 36 that happened August 22nd, if I'm correct. This was a good week wrestling weekend, you know. Some good surprises. Uh, I'm not going to list every match on the card, you know. Um, that's just not going to happen, you know. I'm going to skip some things, you know, I'm going to talk about what I want to talk about. I'm also going to talk about some things that I don't want to talk about that I didn't like on the show. But, you know, I felt the most important things to talk about, you know, nothing in order. So, let's go. Let's first talk about WWE SummerSlam 2021. Yes, it was the main event, John Cena versus Roman Reigns for the WWE title. This was a great match. We didn't know who was going to win. We didn't know nothing, you know, we said John Cena, some people said Roman Reigns, some people said it was going to be John Cena, 16-time world champion, uh, Roman Reigns defending, you know, retaining champion, and eventually face The Rock, so we didn't know nothing, it was a great fight, I enjoyed it, I, this was highly replayable, this highly recommended match, Brock Lesnar came out at the end, and the Roman Reigns won, and it was amazing. You know, it was amazing to see Brock Lesnar back in the game, you know, back in WWE, you know. So, now we are rest assured that we will see Brock Lesnar again in the WWE. So, that's cool. And the second thing I want to talk about is the, the number two spot in this WWE Super Slam 2021 review. I want to talk about Edge versus Seth Rollins. This was like the match of the night. I enjoyed it, man. I enjoyed it. I haven't seen Edge in a good, good match like this since Wrestlemania um, of this year and uh, this was this hell of a match you know um, this is Edge at his finest, Seth Rollins at his finest we, we saw a lot of reversals, we saw a lot of you know finishers, false finishers, we saw a lot of back and forth on the top rope, outside the ropes you know uh, a lot of old school moves Edge did, that was amazing, you know, and this was a hell of a fight, and it didn't even need no stipulation or nothing, so this, to me, is this match of the night, we also had RK Bro winning the tag team titles against AJ Styles and Osmos, and this was an okay, good, you know, beginning match, and, um, some other matches, I'm not really gonna talk about, you know, but, you know, Alexa Bliss, Versus who was who did she face? I can't remember. Even Marie. This was boring. Um, it was more better than I expected to be, you know. But that that's not saying much, you know. This is highly skippable. Damian Priest def defeating Sheamus for the United States Champion. This was also a good match. I enjoyed it. I enjoy. That Damian Priest is now the United States Champion. This was an excellent match. And uh, that's that's all the highlights I would say about SummerSlam. Those are the positives and some of the negatives and other things were skippable. And um, also, oh, I also forgot. Becky Lynch came back. She became a Women's Champion. I enjoyed the moment. But I also didn't like that they, you know, defeated Bianca Belair in like... 10 seconds, like, that was kind of ridiculous, you know, but, uh, yeah, she had to come back, because Sasha wasn't there, wasn't going to compete, and, you know, it is what it is, you know, so, we'll see a, a legit wrestling match between Bianca Belair and, you know, and Sasha Banks, or Bianca Belair and Becky, and, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens, maybe triple threat, um, but from what I'm th hearing, it's going to be a Bianca versus Becky Lynch for the Women's Championship. That's going to be great. All right, moving on, up, moving on up to the next following event. We had NXT TakeOver 36. Raquel Gonzalez defeated her former teammate, you know, former tag team champion. I can't remember her name, but that was an awesome match. I loved it. Uh, we also had the main event, of course. Joe versus Karrion Cross, just a basic match. It was okay for what it was, but nothing really too memor memorable. And Joe won, you know, so that was great. I loved it. I love that Joe is once again NXT champion. And then we also had um, 
Dragonoff, Il Dragonoff defeated Walter. Hell of a match. This was the main. This was the match of the night. I enjoyed it. Highly replayable, you know, match. I enjoyed it. You know, NXT 36 was good. Awesome. You know, same thing with SummerSlam. Can't complain. Maybe one, two dips. You know, but I feel like both of the pay-per-view events, you know, were were highly good you know very good to great one of the best events since Wrestlemania I would have to say so yeah this was awesome maybe even better than Wrestlemania some matches so I enjoyed this surprising it was turned out all good you know the surprises were amazing and everything I loved it you know so um really you know amazing you know so we'll see what's going on with WWE in the coming weeks and months you know I'll give you guys updated make some videos about it you know, I'm a passionate wrestling fan. Also going to talk, talk about AEW, you know, other wrestling companies, you know, along wrestling fan right here. I just haven't, you know, actually thought of making videos, but I love the wrestling so much that I just want to talk about it now. I want to document it. I want to put it out there on YouTube. Tell me what you guys thought. What were your favorite matches? What, were, what did you enjoy? SummerSlam 2021 or NXT TakeOver 36? Um, that's all I got to talk about in this video. Thank you for watching. See you guys on the next video. Peace.